Greetings, minions. It is I, the Flaming Monocle, and this is another A game in the A to Z challenge. This is Angelic Weaver. Catch me when you can. Collector's Edition. Now, obviously, this is another hidden object game. You can tell because they spent all the budget on a 3D model and what looks to be a tremendously well animated background there. I've already um, gone through the process of creating my uh, my character here, Flamonocle, because I couldn't have Flaming Monocle. Which kind of sucks. Let's ch oh, there's a strategy guy built in. At least I will give this game bonus points because this game is not trying to sell me other games as I'm playing it. But let me just make sure that's the case. All right then. Oh, it comes with screensavers and wallpapers as well. Look at that. Ooh, remarkable. Even though there's about three resolutions there. All right, let's get back. Okay, I'm game. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Animated cur- Oh, well, I'm up for some animated curse. No, I'm not. I- No, no, no. <laughs> Too close for, uh, the seventh guest territory, if you ask me. So, let's go ahead and play this game. Oh my god, and immediately. Okay, who's, who, who's been watching the Game Grumps play through, um, Sonic Unleashed? Because, um, you get the vibe that they spent all their money on the pre-renders, and then when the game happens, you see all of these ones that are just static images. Would you like some tutorial help during that? Why not? She got smaller. Oh no, she's now animated. Chicago, Cicero, Dorset Street. This vision was more vivid and intense than what I experienced on my last case. Uh, this villain has killed before. They will not stop. They enjoy the pattern and they enjoy the game. Um, lady, what villain? This vision was more vivid and intense than what I expected on my last case. Experienced on my last case. This villain. We haven't seen this villain. I'm the only villain here. All right. God, I'm liking that. <coughs> okay, carry on. I felt what the latest victim felt. I saw what he saw. A pursuit That's that handy. started in the present, ended in the past. Oh, so you do the time the travel malarkey. Where Andrew Chapman died last night. Oh, all right, fair enough. Hints one. When your cursor changes to an eyeball, it indicates an area of interest. Left click to interact with this specific part of the background. This eyeball reminds me exactly of the seventh guest. Okay, car. Make sure anything else. Okay, that's an arrow pointing that way. Let's see what that says. Murderer still free. Trowel. Oh, I have a trowel in my inventory now. Lucky old me, eh? Collected tools go into your inventory. Put your cursor to the tool you wish to use. Left click it to attach it to the cursor and left click to release it. No problem. I can do that. <gasps> I thought it was a monocle for a moment there, but no, it's a dream catcher. Angelica's dream catcher is a hint that will find a specific hidden object. I'll show you what to do next when charged. Click Angelica to use it. You find dream catchers throughout the game for an instant recharge or to accumulate hints. So that's another. Oh, okay, sound got cut off there. Never mind. Murderer still free on this slightly terribly printed newspaper with no pictures on it. This neighborhood is no stranger to violence, but tonight the press is in a frenzy. They sense a different type of murderer has come to hunt. All right, fair enough. Seems all right. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the car. Oh, look at this. Oh, you're very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Murder investigation name, Andrew Chapman, age 47, five foot nine, blue eyes, dark brown, wavy hair, heavy muscular build and pale complexion. Gosh. Oh look, it's one of those tough books. Cool. We got a, uh, 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 we got a ten four new second slash. Uh, detective badges like this one are scattered Robert throughout the game. Find forty. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a detective badge right there. Oh, look at the old satellite navigation. A pencil. Oh no, obviously need one of those. A phone might need that. Um. Oh, it, it obviously used as a flashlight. Gotcha. Map. Okay, don't need a map. A small cup. <laughs> that might wake the dead! Alright, pliers. A police medal of valor and a purple heart. Oh, we've done loads. Hey, I wanted to close that. Oh, it's just opened it randomly. Okay. Alright, go. Enter the house is the goal. Alright, let's get out of here then. Let's see if we can go in here. Oh, look, another police badge. Oh, is this like Doom where show my- yourself. <laughs> Is this like Doom where my, my current state is shown in the bottom right? Uh, badge. Chicago State Police and one of those. That's fine. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. When I see that icon, we'll do a thing. 
I don't know why I have a mat, but I now have that. Uh, 35. <gasps> a brick with 35 this on it. This brick is hand painted. I need to collect all I can find and see how they relate to Chapman's murder. Should we just take the whole house with us? That sounds like a great idea. Hey, lady! A Chapman, Dorset Street. Andrew won't be worrying about the electric company raising their taxes. Their taxes are uh, rates. Let's just not make up the words as we go along, Monocle, shall we? When you see this icon, a tool is needed. Oh, only I had something. Let's trowlify. Trowl that garden. <gasps> a key. Gosh, what a splendid place to hide it. Okay, let's get out of here and straight into here. The victim's house key was not included in the briefing packet. Good thing I have the key that I need right here. I'm doing this as I go along. I've got no hints whatsoever. I've not played this before and I'm not looking it up as I go along. Uh, congratulations, you found a way into Andrew Chapman's house. Breaking and entering, always a good start. Um, DVR. DVR. I don't have any DVDs or VHSs. Paused on DVR. Where's the remote? Maybe I should find it. All right. Uh, fish on the wall. We all know what those are like. Okay, this is obviously slightly... You can tell it's not quite written into the background. So if I click this... Oh, damn. I was hoping it was actually going to work. All right. Oh, no. The hidden object puzzle. There's a British flag over there. Find all the objects in the list. If you click on an object name, Angelica gives a glimpse of what it looks like. Oh, that's kind of handy. Anything listed in blue is hidden from sight. Search for something in that scene that you can open. Anything listed in green is an object described with a clue rather than a, its regular name. Oh, I see. Oh, so a nine-inning projectile. I'm guessing some sort of base ball. Oh, we need that. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. I thought there was a Kit Kat down there, but it's not. Keys down there and so on. All right, so car... Okay, should we just start doing this or... I don't know. The laptop and stuff. Okay, so computer and car key. Oh, the computer was not touched, so information may not have been the motive. All right. Um, a ring box. There's a USB drive up there. There's a ring box. A notebook. Chapman was a widower. His ring is missing. It isn't in the box, and it wasn't on the body. A maybe he just misplaced it. A notebook. Not like a notebook computer, but a notebook. Uh, which we can't find yet because it's in something else. Guess it. Oh, whoops. Guessing it might be in here. Can we zip this thing up? Mm, no. Damn it. Uh, keeps, keeps a pet near. Some sort of leash, perhaps? Uh, a gun case. Let's have a look and see what we can find around here, then. Cash. Just cash. That's cash. Cash money. No? All right, okay. I'll take the DVD, though, surely. No? All right. Nine-inning projectile. Guessing some sort of baseball as... Oh, there we go. Boop! Some, uh, keeps a pet near. It's not going to be a Jaguar or anything like that. No, no, no. Uh, keeps a pet near. Like a leash. That's a belt. I don't see anything like a leash. But that's a dog. What was that? That was under dog, I suppose. <laughs> Gosh, this is exciting stuff. Cremation urn. Always handy to have one of those. You never know when you might need one of them. There's dust under the urn. Should be dust in the air. Maybe it sprung a leak. The killer returned and planted this. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Let's have a look in here. Gun case. Chapman left the house in a hurry with his pistol. Oh, no. Uh, there's cash. $20 on a clip. Robbery sure wasn't the motive. Well, either that or they're terrible robbers that missed it. All the good stuff, like the laptops and the cash. Car keys. Obviously, should have done that first off. The water bottle I did see. Uh, cell phone, we did see that too. Nope, that's not a cell phone. There it is. No, nope, that's a walkie-talkie. A uh, cell phone. Where am I to... Oh, there we go. Notebook. A uh, cell cellular phonographic device. Some sort of cellular telephonic thing. Where might it be? It's behind there. Keeps a pet near. Maybe you could use an electrical cord as a leash. Maybe it's not even a leash. Maybe it's a dog whistle, no? Or a, uh, a, a fly swatter. Or a, um, hmm. You've got me there, game. What am I looking for? Uh, it's a bulb. Not quite what I'm looking for. Maybe it's a squirty bottle for keeping all cats off of sofas. No? Oh, duh. 
Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I know you've been screaming at me. Yes, there it is. Numbered brick. Uh... What? Yeah, no. <laughs> she just gives me a quick said, this is what a brick looks like. Oh, there it is. Well done, you found the numbered brick. She was like really concentrating quite hard then to conjure up that image of this is what a brick looks like. Uh, all right, what's in the journal? Don't know. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Exterior and interior, blah, blah, blah. I need to scour the interior for leads. All right, well, we found a lead, a leash rather. Let's go in here. What got Chapman out of the house was not subtle. I see. That doesn't look safe. Okay. Well, I'll take the brick. Lucky old me, just grabbing, grabbing evidence. Why have dishes drying on a counter when you have a dishwasher? Gosh, it's all making sense. Never trust an electrical appliance and a puddle of water. I need to take a safety measure before I can check out the area. <sighs> All right, let's turn everything off then. I need to take a safety measure. I need to take a... Yeah, another safety measure. All right. Can we turn the power off? Probably not. Is what I am thinking. Um... Nothing here. Oh, hello. The men definitely had skills. Marksmanship, foot kicking, and one leg balancing. And snake skinning, and having a DVR remote. Dun dun dun. So, let's get back. Use the remote on the television. Oh, I have to go to the TV. Yeah. Channel 187. Breaking news and brutal. This program oh, no. was paused after the killing. And after the forensics team went over the home and crime scene. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. And channel 187 was no accident. That's the police call number for homicide. Right. So what does that mean? Stuff? I don't know what it means. Let's, um... All right, now what? Oh, it's time to broaden my search to the alley. All right, okay, I'll broaden my search to the alley then. Let's go to the alleyway. I'm totally digging the police car, by the way. All right. Next. Uh-huh. Now we're in the alleyway. This building must be abandoned. The bin is empty. All right. Garbage. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Just click everything, I suppose. There's a notebook there. Don't need to read that. No? All right, fine. Fair enough. Then we'll carry on. Carry on my wayward detective. No water's coming out of the drain after a light drain. There must be a blockage. A blockage. Nothing to see down that alley except for the rats. Obviously. And, oh, here we go. There we are. You would think if we had access to the electrical box, that would be... Oh. All right. That we would, uh... Oh, hello. What's this? It's too dark to see how to repair the light. Oh, okay. Why would I want to repair it? This is the area the body was found where the street light isn't working. Oh, beans, that sucks. All right, well, we better go to the left then. And maybe we can find... Oh, something's in there. This scrub bush is in the way. Oh, if only I had something to remove. All right, okay, I can't do that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. She's going to be hefting around all these bricks all the time. That's insane. Why are you hefting bricks around? All righty. Uh, oh, chap man. garage. I'm interested. <laughs> a man who owns a garage like this, eh? Oh, no. Click each wheel to turn the numbers. Find and enter the code to open the lock. Well, we have... <laughs> we have... What have we got in the inventory, then? All right, no numbered bricks are going to help us. Are they? 
Maybe... I don't know. One, two, three. Everyone's is one, two, three, right? No. Two, two, three. No. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. Five, three, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. We could do this for like all 990 or well, 1,000 combinations because obviously zero is a number. Is it one? No. This may take some time, ladies and gentlemen. One. Two? No. Three. It's got to be three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Well... I'm out of luck on that one. Sod that. Oh, we could skip that, apparently. So, there's got to be somewhere we can find a number. Oh, hello. No, that's not a thing. And uh, that's not a thing either. Let's go back then. Maybe in the house. What does it say in the journal? It's time to search outside. Blah, 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Anywhere where there's numbers involved. Channel 187? Is it going to be 187, maybe? It's going to be stupid, isn't it? It's not going to be 187. Really? Fine. All right. Oh, there's a loom. A loom. The killer enjoys the chase and has made it personal. Uh, he, he has? Okay. That's a big crowbar. How has he made it personal? There's got to be some hedge trimming equipment in here somewhere. <gasps> a rope. The loom won't work until the ropes are removed by untying the knots. Remove the ropes by untying all the large knots. Uh, click on an intersection to reverse the state of all neighboring intersections. Knots become untied, tied, and sections become knotted. Oh, it's one of those, is it? Oh, dear. This is not how I intended it to go. At all. Uh -oh. oh, I can't remember how these are done. There is a super, super, super easy way to do this. And I am not... There we go. <laughs> oh, there was a brick inside there. Well, we better carry that. We could build our own house at this rate. Uh, I'll take the clowbar. Do my own uh, Gordon Freeman impression there. And say no words at all, ever. Okay, there's nothing else in the old Chapman Garage. Oh, a pruner. Oh, there we go. We've already decided what we're going to do with that. Prunity, prunity, prunity. <gasps> Another brick. Good thing we need them. All right. And uh, now, can we repair this thing with anything? Can we have a screwdriver? A screwdriver. It's too dark to see how to repair the light. All right. And now we use the, the driver to screw. And, oh no, that's gonna suck. Ah. Uh, the wires are cut. The casing needs to be stripped away to repair it. Oh no, if only I kept my multi-tool hanging around. Okay. Now what? Don't cut the, don't cut the wires. The wires need to be connected with some rubber. <laughs> All right, maybe with some sticky tape. No, knob. The wires need to be connected. Well, damn. Don't think we have what what it takes. We could spray them back into order. Throw a rubber mat into the works. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to go ahead and say that we don't have the requisite components to make that a thing that works. So, oh. All right, and what does it say in our journal? Uh, I'm going to repair the streetlight and then finish collecting the number of bricks. All right. What? Did the knob have tape on it or something? Let's have a look in here. Ugh. All right, light. Camera. Oh, okay. I thought I... Hints. That's the hint. It's not really a hint, though. Is oh, okay. It's telling me where to go. Oh, hello. This is new. It's too dark. Remember. It'll take some leverage. All right. Leverage. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Let's get out of here. Wasn't even paying attention. Click, 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 click. There must be a blockage. No bricks. No knobs. All right, sod it. Ah, the journal. 
How am I going to repair that? Maybe we'd better use another hint. A ladder. Alright, okay, I didn't see the ladder, but let's do that. Alright, so I found another brick. Lucky me, eh? Well, that's not helpful. Maybe it is in the house then. Never trust an electric. Oh, derp. There we go. Stand on that sodden rubber mat. The dishwasher was meant to get my attention. It's locked and running the killer's cycle to remove evidence. The hunt is being made into a personal game. Oh, is it now? Oh, well, I better use the knob then, hadn't I? Ten. The Bell killer ten. is arrogant. Evidence was put on display and set to be washed clean while I investigated. There is nothing to trace on Chapman's shoe. <laughs> all right, we're going to take the, the brick, though. The killer ate a leisurely meal using the place setting, but the antique plate is all wrong. It looks turn of the century and does not fit with any... With any of Andrew's belongings. Gosh, if only I had some tape. Tape would be right... Right useful right about now. Oh, look. What are they? Wire caps. Why have we got wire caps in the sink? I don't know. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, we've got wire caps. I don't know if those alone were gonna actually assist me in this, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a look. We'll see what we can do. All right, wire caps. Really? The killer is playing games. A black light was put in the street light. The lab team uh -huh. had no idea about the invisible ink. Uh huh. Yes, because lab teams have garbage this side of sort the of thing. The outline of the body. The arms yeah, in the yeah, eight yeah. o'clock position. All right. Okay. Um. So, guess I'd better do things. Oh no. Oh no. It's Sudoku. <laughs> so one, so we're missing the two and a three. Alright. Uh, no, there's a three. So I'm missing a two and a five. So that's going to go in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, no seven, eight, nine. So it needs to be a seven on the left. So is that going to be an eight and a four or is it. Oh god. It's not going to be that or that, so I don't know yet. That is the, uh... Let's put that there just to see how that works. As a guess, as it were. Um... Alright. What else have we got? What else have we got? Uh, one... There's no two here, so there's got to be a two on the right, so it's got to be that one. One, two... No three. No three's on the right, so it's going to be there. Oh, hang on a minute. One, two, three. Yeah, that's that's the correct one because that, that's got to have a seven in there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be a seven there. Seven on the right. It's got to be that one. Ah, uh, one. There's two, three. There's no four. Five, six, seven. No eight. Four, eight. No, there's no eight. One. There's two ones there. That's wrong. <gasps> Beans. That's very wrong. That can't be right. Oh, no. Mother humper. Maybe that goes down there instead. No, that's got a one in it as well. Maybe that's got a seven. Yes, that would make more sense. Uh, one, two, seven. There's already a seven there, so I don't know why I thought that was the one that goes there. Um, eight, nine. Let's try that. One, two. That's okay. Three. There's no four, so that's got a four on the right. Uh, it's got to be that one. Guessing. One, two, three. No four. It's got to be that one. And uh, that's got a nine already. That's got to go there. Uh, one, two, three, there's a nine there, so that's got to go there. And that's got to go there. Hooray! Master Mason, congratulations. You solved the brick uh, puzzle in one attempt. Because I'm a genius. Oh, no. One of them fell out. Oh, wait. I may send you the bloody knife if you only wait a little longer. Catch me when you can, Miss Weaver. Oh dear. Well, the the thick plottens. What happeneth now? Oh no. Oh, check that dominatrix style. Oh. This is looking awkward. This woman has wounds nearly identical to those found on Andrew Chapman's body, but her shredded clothes are from a hundred years ago. Uh oh. That's gonna look awkward on the police file. The bodies fell or were positioned the same way. No signs of a struggle. The killer either surprised him or was never perceived as a threat. Uh-huh. 
The impression on her finger indicates that she wore a ring. It's missing, but her purse is here. Okay. <gasps> oh no, she turned into a goose jewel. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry, missus, I didn't mean- Oh, wow. This is insane. She's got all psychedelia on us. London. London, England, of course it's London, England. Who was that poor woman? How did she get to England? I'll take I that. I saw her last moments and felt what she did. The end was sudden. She did not you see the killer. You would think that someone that her gets killed over and over by again by her victims. Covered in a leather glove. Yeah, you'd think that she'd have some kind of psychological the trauma. The killer said nothing, but his mouth was open. His breath came slightly down on her. Judging by her height, the killer could not have been tall. Hmm. Well. I'm going to explore the neighborhood. You're going to explore the neighborhood? I'm going to explore the neighborhood. Thank you. Gas lantern? Or is it electric? Who knows when this is? Uh, oh, it's a bayonet. Oh, okay. Journal. And to find out who she is. Oh, no. Well, I better go and have a little wander around, didn't I? Horsicle? Of course it's a horsicle. John Pizza. Or John Pizza. John House Shoe Thing. Leather crafting takes patience, strong hands, and the and skill with sharp tools. If only. The poster torn off this door hit that own, owner's nerve. Finally, it may elicit a response. How do you know it's hit their nerve? Fine, I'll go, I'll go look for it. It's like I've got anything better to do, he said, clicking off the game by mistake. I know, I shall spray all over the door. No? Alright then. All right. Oh, badge. Oh, let's -a go and have a look around. Hey. No one witnessed anything. The window is like a closed eye. Oh, we can go in here. Take that. Chicago police in Grosbritannian, Angleterre. No one in this apartment could have heard the muffled violence. Let them stay in bed. All right. That triangle on the third step is freshly scratched. Is the killer playing games? Is the killer playing games? All right, fair enough. Nothing I can see there, so maybe. So what do I do here then? I could keep using more hints, but uh, retrace the victim's steps. Well, I was here, I was, and then I walked over there, and then I was dead. If anything made of paper went in here. It surely got sucked into the bowels of the city. All right. Well, nothing wrong with it. Oh, here we go. I can go backwards. There we go. Right. Uh, a portrait, no footprints on a muddy evening. This building does not have to be checked. I more about the victim if I track where she began her walk. Which tracks do I follow? I don't know. Obviously not the, not the horse ones. I can learn more about... Which track do I follow? I can learn more. I can, I can learn... Yeah, I, I, I get that. I don't know what it is it, it, the game is asking me to do. I can learn more about the victim if I... Uh, okay. Come on, game. We can do this. We work together. Let's go that way. No? Let's go this way. Oh, look, a giant thing in the sky. That's kind of interesting. Oh, an apple, a police badge. Very popular in the 1800s in England. Uh, the only important opening is the one where the victim originated. Which one is it? I'll take... I'll just take the whole barrel. Okay, those are notoriously heavy. Any important... Okay, fire, 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 fire. Horse. Something is needed to persuade the horse to move. An ample. Go. Yes, there's no way I would have squeezed through there, is there? That's some excellent animation there. Thank you, game. Now what? All right, I, I wish the thing was making me nauseous, that. <gasps> Ten. The light inside looks inviting, but the doors are blocked shut. Uh, maybe a bayonet can open the door. Um, maybe. Oh, there we go. And in we go. Alright. A, a notice. Today's menu was shepherd's pie and blood pudding. Thank you, yes. I'll eat that any day. <gasps> the numbers are missing. The shelf is not complete. It is now. Well, it was, I thought. Apparently. Oh, just... <laughs> Take the whole table with me. That's fine. I'll take this chair too. Oh, and that chair. I'll just take the lot. I'll just take the whole building's contents with me. And I thought I was the evil one. Oh, badge. Um. 
Uh, I don't know. The shelf is not complete. If only I had more stuff. All right, we'll have to deal with this at a later stage then. How much later? Probably never, because I have a feeling that is probably where we'll leave it, because this is uh, another one of those hidden object games. And hopefully I've played enough to pique your interest. It looks good. It plays pretty well. It's a slick old adventure game. I sincerely hope you uh, consider that if this is your kind of thing, maybe buying it, supporting the developers and all of that. But this is where I'm going to leave things for today and move on to the next game in my collection on this A to Z challenge. Thank you very much indeed for watching. My name has been The Flaming Monocle, and I do hope you will join me the next time I play a video game for your entertainment. Don't forget to check out the Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash Flaming Monocle, Monday to Saturday from 11 a.m. PST. And I will see you the next time. Cheerio! The leather apron slasher. Not the hair slinging slasher.